$900 for a collector's edition. Only if it comes with a hand job from 1990's Elizabeth Hurley. Let's find out. Oh, in case you've been living under a rock for the last year, Resident Evil 2, awesome game, Capcom original, came out back in, I can't remember when, a while ago. And uh, they remade it, finally. Played the demo, looks amazing. Went online, checking out uh, Special Edition, because you know, in this day and age in the gaming world that we all enjoy so much. <sighs> Deluxe editions, classic editions, gold editions, premium editions, live, blah, 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 blah. Lo and behold, what did I find? A $900 collector's edition for Resident Evil 2. I thought, wow, good gracious, that must just be worth something amazing. I mean, $900. We've all got $900, but, uh, you know, spending it on a game? Maybe not. Let's see what this includes. Coming at you from Charlie Hall over at Polygon, we have a $900 Resident Evil 2 Premium Edition feels overpriced, I would say. The remake of Resident Evil 2 announced during this year's E3 in Los Angeles certainly got a lot of fans excited, myself included. Now developer and publisher Capcom has unveiled a monstrous new collector's edition of the game. And when you see this later, it's monstrous only in price. Coming in at 99,800 yen, or around $900 US, it may be just a little bit overpriced for what's inside. Now that being said, from what I can tell looking on Capcom's official website for the US, this is only available in Japan. Don't know why. Uh, it's called the Biohazard RE2Z version, Premium Edition. It includes the game standard collector's edition, which among other items features a dashing 12-inch statue of main character Leon as well as the game's enhanced soundtrack and an art book. By itself, the package will run you about 225 bucks. I don't want to say reasonable, but comparatively so, possibly. The Z version Premium Edition, there we go with another edition, adds on a full-size Quirky Writer Bluetooth mechanical keyboard, complete with top-of-the-line cherry blue key switches. I don't even know what that is and a mount for your tablet or smartphone. Sweet Jesus! It's a modified version of Quirky Writer's own S model, which you can find online for about $249. So apparently, apparently, just modifying it and adding a mount adds $600 to the value minus the game. I don't know, math was never my strong point. You figure it out, you got the calculator. Fans of Resident Evil 2 will remember that, as with most games in the series, the only way to save your game was to collect ink ribbons and insert them into typewriters secreted through the game world. I don't know if I'd say they're secretive, they're pretty obvious if you have eyes, which, as he says here, to my eye at least, the custom quirky writer simply doesn't look much like the typewriters in the game. Even the caps are the wrong shape, and he's right about that. This is a, uh, a picture here, the... Lexington. I, I don't know if that's the end game. Oh, it looks like it. Same brand. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, other than being a typewriter, it doesn't really look anything like that. Now, maybe they did that for shipping, or I mean, if you look at it in the game here, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. So, all I can think of is they did that simply for convenience sake. Moving on. Adding up the cost of the Collector's Edition and a standard Quirky Writer S, a little back of the napkin math, okay, tells me that you're receiving roughly $475 worth of goods. Well, see, someone did do the math and they're better at it than me. So aside from the nifty gold trim applique, what else do you get for the extra $425? Bucks? Well, you get all four rolls of the collectible washi tape, known as masking tape here in the United States. Wow, masking tape for another 425 bucks that's amazing that that is some well see right here it says royal type so then you know it's good limited edition for e capcom what the hell is e capcom uh, lord knows you also receive two in-game items called samurai edge chris and samurai edge jill no pictures of what those items will look like are available at this time Right now, the Z version Premium Edition is only available on the Japanese Capcom online storefront. No word if there will be a US version. Well, now I feel better. So as I've said, the game looks amazing. Uh, I tried the 30 minute demo, 
and played the uh, the 30 minutes out of it. I loved it. It was great. It was smooth. I can't say enough good things about it. And I think that the full game when it launches is going to be just fantastic. But $900, I mean, for what comes with it, I don't know. I feel like collector's editions have gone off the trolley, and it's just, it's become too much. I know it's a business, and they're in the business of, of making money, as all businesses are, and I don't necessarily have a problem with that. And I don't have a problem with them even charging $900, really. What I have a problem with is the value. Is a Bluetooth typewriter that kind of vaguely matches what's in the game that comes with some black masking tape with a, a label over it. Is that really worth that extra money? Like, I gotta be honest and say no. As cool as it is and as awesome as it is and as much as I would love to order one, um, I, I just can't justify that kind of money for, for what you get. And you're seeing it more and more. You're seeing it in the Devil May Cry series where they got thousands and thousands of dollars for their special edition, and all it does is come with a jacket of some kind. I'm not really familiar with the Devil May Cry series. I, I know that doesn't make me a, a popular gamer in some circles, but it just never came up in my, my type of gaming. Um, not, not that I wouldn't try it or enjoy it, but uh, it, like I said, it's just never come up. So... I just feel like the gaming industry as a whole has lost their goddamn mind. And then, in talking with my friend, I said, you know, how can this be happening? How can people be willing to pay such a large amount of money for such a small amount of thing? And why, why is a company feeling that it's okay to charge that much? And he said something very smart. He said, because people will pay for it. And he's right. When you think about it, Somewhere out there, as ridiculous as these prices are, Star Citizen with their thousand dollars just to be able to buy fifteen, twenty-five thousand dollars, whatever it was, of ships. Uh, Devil May Cry in their ten thousand dollars, I think it was, or eight thousand dollars for their special edition. People are paying it. If they weren't paying it, then these companies wouldn't charge it. I mean, that's simple supply and demand. And I can't believe that this is where it's going. And I, I don't, I don't like the implications. Anyway, it's just a quick video about that. I don't want to uh, disparage the game or anything like that because, like I said, third time now, I think, fourth time. The game's awesome. Uh, I pre-ordered it. I never pre-order games anymore. I was burned on the vision really, really badly, but, you know, I learned my lesson. Um, this is one game that, maybe because of the demo, I didn't actually pre-order it until after the demo. Um, I had a feeling for when it was first announced it was going to be a great game. And it, it turned out to really kind of appeal to me, in the demo at least. Uh, and so I, I just have a problem with the direction of monetization that the industry is coming into. Um, loot boxes, you know, now that loot boxes are on the way out, now people are, are finding different ways of charging more for the same game, and I think it was Jim Sterling who said very famously, $60 is the entry-level price. And... Yeah, games are still $60, and when you look at it from that point of view, like you're buying a car. It's a basic car for the basic price, but if you want better features, or in some cases the entire game, you have to pay more. Anyway, I appreciate you hanging out, uh, enjoying. If you uh, have any comments, questions, whatever, feel free to drop me a line. Uh, if you uh, would throw me a like or subscribe, that would help me out huge. Thanks for stopping by, and hope to see you next time.